Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zen Tango teacher. Welcome to 15 Minutes of Zen. In these videos, I guide you through creating one tangle using the Zen Tango method of drawing. I highly recommend you taking a class in person and learning through a certified Zen Tango teacher how to put these tangles together into larger compilations. But for today, we're gonna to do one called Walk the Line, and this was created by Chris Titus, who was also a certified Zentangle teacher. I'm using a Micron PN plastic nib pen. I have a graphite pencil to draw and shade, and I have a blending tool called a tortillon. I'm using a two inch by two inch tile called the Bijou Tile. These are available at Zentangle.com. You can use anything that you have on hand. Any pen and pencil and paper will work. Okay, let's get started. So this one is a fun one and it can be used as a border. It can be done in a spiral. There's lots of options, but we're gonna do ours in kind of a flower pattern. So we're gonna start in the center with um, a tangle called tipple which is just little orbs. So I'm going to put some orbs in the center of my tile. And I'm gonna to try to vary their size a little bit. I'm gonna put this in sort of a circular shape. This is going to be the middle of my flower. If you have spaces in between the circles, you can ink those in. And once you have kind of a circular shape here, we can be done. Okay, I'm gonna take my pen and I'm just going to outline that just to sort of connect to them all. Okay. All right, so to make walk the line, I'm going to do a wiggly line around this, and then I wanna leave room for another layer of it. So I'm gonna do it right here. And I'm leaving enough room to do a second layer when this one is done. All right, so there's two ways, there's probably more ways, but there's two ways that I like to make walk the line. So the first way is that we make a series of bumps all the way around. So I'm gonna start that first if you wanna watch for a second. I start from the center and I go up and out, up, and out. If making those even is tricky for you, you can do a series of lines and then we can go back and add the bumps later. So go ahead and take a minute just to finish this first round. And remembering that the center is going to be a little narrower than when we go out. The outside has to be a little bit thicker to accommodate this larger line. We're keeping these as narrow as we can. And I'm not worried about all these extra little spaces. But do take your time. This is such a relaxing tangle to make. All right, I got to the end. 
And I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to ink in all of these extra areas. And if you made yours with the straight lines, then we're going to add the bumps now. So now I'm just going to go into each of these sections and add a little bump, a bump, a bump. And the same thing, we're going to fill in those little extra spots. You can see where this would make a good border if you just did a straight line and then a bumpy line and then added all those little things in the center. All right, there's walk the line. Okay, now I'm gonna add another round of this kind of floral petal, petal wiggly shape. So I'm just going to fill my tile. It does not have to match the lines of the one inside. In fact, it's probably better if you don't try to match it. Now I made this one a little bit wider, so I'm going to have to make my bumps wider. So if it's easier, go ahead and just make those straight lines going out. And going slow to keep these narrow. And as you can see, my bumps are wider at the top and thin at the bottom because this little space here is a lot smaller than the area out here. Now I have this whole edge here that I need to fit in a very small spot. And just always trying to touch that outside line. If you're like me and you start gripping your pen too hard, go ahead and relax your hand for a minute. Stretch your fingers a little bit and then do your pen again, but hold it nice and light. You do not need to press hard. I love when a tangle is so repetitive that we don't really have to think about the next move. We're just filling in that space. Now, some of you have been commenting that it's very difficult to make straight lines I can appreciate that. I had uh, medications a few years ago that made me very jittery and my lines were all over the place. And honestly, you just have to embrace it. These little tiles are just meant for you. I mean, of course you can give them away if you want, but it's meant to be relaxing. It's not meant to be something that stresses you out. It's not something you have to display or hang on the wall. Just enjoying this moment of quiet. So now I'm going in, I'm adding this dark where those little edges are. And look at how amazing that looks. So if your lines are wiggly, go ahead and leave them wiggly. 
I promise you, nobody cares if they're wiggly. No one knows what it's supposed to look like. There's no rules. Again, loosen your grip on your pen a little bit. You don't need to rush this little coloring part. This is part of the part of the process. There it is. Walk the line. So we're going to do some shading, which is going to change this drastically. I'm also going to add just the slightest aura around the outside. And I make my aura very slowly because if I rush, I tend to go all over the place. Nice and slow, all the way around. And I'm going to go ahead and add my initials before I forget. This is called an artist chop. Let me add our initials to something. All right, I'm going to pick up my pencil. And the first thing I'm going to do is go around the edge of these little circles called tipple. And put some graphite all the way around those, nice and dark. And then I take my blending tool and I just push it out the slightest, out into those petals. And look at the depth that that gave it. Now I'm going to take the end of my blending tool, it has some graphite on it, and I'm just going to put a little smudge on some of those larger circles. See how it just gives them a little bit of a shadow. Okay, now I pick up my pencil again, and I'm going to go around the outside edge of that first petal shape. It's important to go right up against the edge. can do little circles if you'd like, whatever's comfortable for you. It doesn't have to be wide, but you do want it to be dark. Okay, take my blending tool and I'm going to push that out. I want that center to be the darkest where the shadow's being formed. And I want it to get lighter as it moves away. Oh, I love that. Right, I'm going to do one last little bit, and that's just going to be around the edge. I'm not going to make it very dark, but just so this doesn't look like it's laying flat on my paper, we'll give it a little shadow. I just soften that. Pushing it out and away. Mm -hmm. 
All right, it's beautiful. That is Walk the Line by Chris Titus. I hope you found that relaxing. I hope you have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.